there, this is Ashley and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about chemistry by Waika Wang. Waiki Wang. Um, I received this from a book of the month box a little bit ago, um, but I just wanted to talk to you about this book because I really loved this book. Uh, chemistry feels like one of those stories where seemingly nothing happens. But we're so ingrained in the main character's head. In this story, we really want nothing more than for the main character, who remains nameless, to snap out of her funk. But we also feel for her because, you know, most people know what it's like to feel so pressured that you're bound to snap at any second. And we learn and grow with her as she sheds the life that was expected of her and adopts the life that she wants. Um, I feel like the narrator of the book gives the reader permission to also do the same, to leave their life behind in search of something different, because how often do people really have the chance to do that? Um, and if, I mean, if it's not to completely leave everything behind, at least search for something better. Because life is about growth and change, and if, if you are adverse to that for your entire life, then you are eventually going to snap and have this kind of traumatic dilemma that the narrator does. It's also very hard to connect with the narrator, even though everything you read is her in her head and I would say it's because she's a little cold and guarded I would attribute that to how she grew up and she has um, all of these mentally tasking challenges that she's going through and all of these changes in her life and it's kind of makes it easier to want to comfort her because she's one of those struggling friends who's journeying to find what she wants and needs out of life. And you just want to like give her a cup of hot chocolate and a warm blanket and like hug her. And it's... I gave this book five stars because to me it is a character driven novel that, that focuses on the intricacies of, the hu of human thought and emotion and relationships. And also kind of gives you a glimpse into the hard sciences of grad school and just how hard it can be on the psyche of a person, um, especially if they're not equipped to handle it. Thank you for watching and definitely go check out this book. It's so good. <laughs> Bye.